Hi, I'm Anthony from Fitfellas and delighted to be here with my good friend Prosper from the Online Prosperity Show. We're going to talk about all things food and exercise and the simple things you can do to make 30 minutes of physical activity every day, six days a week, a part of your normal life. To take that challenge from being painful to being a ritual and something you do as naturally as brushing your teeth. Looking forward to seeing you on the show. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got Anthony. Anthony, how are you doing, my man? Going like a steam train, mate. How are you? Very well, thanks. Now, Anthony is a world-renowned men's fitness and health expert, all right? And he operates under the banner of fitfellas.com.au. Now, Fitfellas is a 100% online premium program that helps men lose their gut. Now, you would be an entrepreneur who's really trying to stay on top of your health. You're really trying to stay on top of your finances. You can't do well if you don't feel well. So that's the reason why we bring in experts like Anthony himself to just give us a lowdown of what it actually means to be fit and healthy and be masculine at the same time. Now, Anthony, did I say any of that right? You, you, most of it was pretty good, yeah. The, uh, the actual website is fitfellas.online All right. uh, rather than .a, .com.au, but the rest of it, you, you're on the money. And I think to an extent, I actually think you, you hit the target better than you think you did because <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of men, a lot of people think that fitness is – the outcome from fitness is actually I have a six pack or I have massive arms or I have a tight butt or whatever it might be. That's not the outcome. The prize that you get from exercise, great nutrition, healthy lifestyle is not the body. It's the life you get to live within that body. So when you're an entrepreneur and you're under the pump and you work bloody hard and anyone who tells me that business is easy, I'm not buying into it. They've been in a good patch for a while, but They've either worked very hard in the past or they are actually working very hard or they've fluked it and have no fear, my friend, something will go wrong and they're going to have tough times ahead of them. So that's, that's the, the nature of the beast that we're in. But for an entrepreneur to stay healthy, it means that they're sharper, they're smarter, they're more creative, they're more capable. It's all of those things. That's the prize. It's not the six pack. It's not the big guns. It's the who do I become through great exercise, great nutrition, and healthy lifestyle. That's the cool stuff. Understandable. Because from what I know, your programs are really focused on creating an environment where men actually change their thinking around their health and their relationship with exercise and food. Now, the media has us having a picture of being masculine or being a man with all the abs, with all the um, you know guns to the gun show like you um, have mentioned. How is that not a healthy way of viewing what fitness is actually about? Oh, well, great question. The fitness industry has created itself on that premise of looking a certain way. Uh, and, and where that can take us is a direction of, I don't care what happens to me tomorrow. I want to look that good today. I will starve myself. I will take steroids. I will under eat, over train. I'll do a whole bunch of stuff which doesn't serve my health and well-being because I have an image of what I should look like when I'm that healthy person. Whereas I work with mostly with blokes over the age of 40 who still want to look okay, but they're more thinking that the focus tends to be more about, I don't want to die of cardiovascular disease. I don't want to have diabetes. I don't want, you know, I, at, at my age, I'm 48. And my father-in-law has been diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer uh, and they can't do anything about it. So he's got a limited lifespan. Now, let's face it, my friend, we all have a limited lifespan. None of us are here for forever. But a lot of the guys that I work with have parents who have just passed or are sick or in hospital who are struggling with their health. And they're seeing them saying, wow, that's me in 20, 30, 40 years. I need to make sure the quality of my life now is as good as I can be. And it's not about looking hot. There's nothing wrong with looking good. Please don't mistake where I'm going with this. It's where is the focus? Is the focus I want a six pack or is the focus I want to be healthy, vibrant, energetic, feeling good, disease free, a great role model for my kids, a, a great partner for my girlfriend, a great uh, role model for my clients. You know, that, they're the things that are appealing to me 
not whether I've got 8% or 12% body fat. Don't I understand. Care. Un understandable <laughs> because, yes, like, thank you so much. Because as entrepreneurs, what we are creating right now is something we would want to see or, you know, um, watch it unfold. And it just doesn't happen, um, you know, instantly. So if you're not in the best of health, there's no way you're going to see the fruits of what you're working for right now. Um, now, Anthony, there's one thing that happens when it comes to, um, you know, maintaining a habit. As humans, we are creatures of habit. And being healthy moves uh, I mean, being healthy or maintaining some sort of lifestyle that you're talking about becomes a chore. We already have a lot of work, um, you know, cut out for us. How then do you help uh, people to move their being healthy from being a burden to something that actually happens um, as natural as brushing their teeth? Yeah, great. A, a couple of things. Firstly, I'll make it very simple. I don't overcomplicate exercise. Exercise should be simple. Most of us have a footpath out the front. We don't need to join the gym and, and go to the gym to use a treadmill to do something that we do quite naturally. It's called walking or running, and we can do it for free on the footpath. So we start with very easy, simple things that we can do. And then instead of thinking that, that we're going to break habits, all we do is we tweak the habit. So a habit has a, a, a stimulus, a, a trigger of some sort, and then an action, and then a reward. So every habit that we have has those three elements. What I do is look at the trigger. The trigger might be at 6 a.m. The habit might be I get up and have a, uh, a breakfast of cocoa pops and full cream milk and I watch morning television. And then the reward is um, I feel good because I have this little sugar rush and I go off to work. So all I do is try and replace that 6 a.m., get up and go and do some exercise. The reward is reinforce the positive feelings. So most of us before exercise uh, might look out the window and go, oh man, I'm just going to go back to sleep for a little bit or I really need to do this work. I really need to, to do this ad, need to contact this client, need to create this content, whatever it might be. Um, so there's things that are pressing our time. I shouldn't go for a walk. My motivation to do exercise is about three out of 10. But we also know that as soon as you go and do some exercise, your feeling about the exercise might be a seven or an eight out of 10. So all I do is bring that into our awareness with a private Facebook group, with the support of the group, with a bunch of other blokes in the same mission saying, hey, three cheers for you. You could have done something else. You could have gone and done more work. We can always do more work. But when you look after yourself first, your ability to serve others increases enormously. And, and there's some real merit to that. We have a, a, a martyr type mentality sometimes that says, I just work and I hustle 24 seven and I'm on and I'm on and I'm on and I'm on. And you're on and that's great, but you will work better, smarter, more effectively if you take that time out for yourself to do a little bit of physical activity. And, and, and when I say physical activity, I don't care what it is. Prosper, if you love doing Zumba, you go and do Zumba classes, my friend. If you want to do tap dancing, go and do tap dancing. If you want to lift heavy weights, go and lift. I don't care. Get off the couch, do something. You'll feel better about yourself afterwards. And eat some good food. Life is sweet. Go ahead and serve your clients. Be a role model for your kids. Look after your loved ones. Look after your clients. My, my ability to be creative around my business increases when I eat well and I look after my, my exercise needs. So surely if I want to be a smarter business owner, some basic foundation things is eat well, do some exercise. Understandable. So, and, and thank back, you. Back to your question. Oh, yeah. No, it's just reinforce, reinforcing the habits. Just... Just recognizing, you know what, feel good after exercise, keep doing it. I feel good after drinking water, keep doing it. I feel good after eating an apple, keep doing it. It's, it's that positive reinforcement. We just, we just hammer that in. It's called intentional brainwashing. Yeah, understandable. You, and you're absolutely right. We are now living outside the 24-hour uh, box, especially as entrepreneurs. So if you're not in the right frame of mind, in the right energetic levels, your customers are not going to be anticipating that you've been working all day. You're the first person they're seeing at that particular time. So you've got to produce, all right? So you, you um, mentioned earlier on that within your private uh, Facebook groups, your participants just maybe commit to like 30 minutes of exercise and, you know, between six days um, each week. And also uh, they, are, they must be prepared to try a few changes with their diet. So what sort of accountability do people actually now have if they start working with you, Anthony? 
um, in as much as, um, you know, continuing with these programs? Sure. So the, the, the eight week program, everything is, is leading towards the next step. This is classic no brainer, uh, set up a business. So I do a free five day option for people. They get access to a, a five days of a membership site, a private Facebook group where they post in, uh, photos of what they're eating or, uh, their workout for the day. They might put a little app on their phone, something like map my run. So it tracks how much physical activity you do. It might be Samsung health or something like that. But we just want to reinforce any change of behavior towards being aware of what I eat or what I do physically. So we do that literally on a daily basis. I'm looking for people to check in on a daily basis on, uh, online. I do a video check-in with the group once a week. Uh, so we, we do a Zoom call and, and just touch base with people and say, hey, how are you going? What's going on in your world? What are you enjoying? What's not working for you? We have little themes depending on the week where we might do goal setting early on in the month. And then we actually look for hurdles. We look for the problems. What's going to stop you from being physically active? And, and I, I get some criticism from some people about that because why would you look for problems? Because the problems are going to find you. The problems are there. If we ignore them, they don't go away. They, they are, they're coming back to us. So I want to identify those things up front and be really honest about the fact that we're going to have struggles from time to time. Um, but the, the added accountability comes from the group. So the other blokes on the group will comment. If I, if I post up, I, I went for a run this morning, a couple of guys say, hey, great run, well done. You know, it's a, your, your times are getting faster or whatever the case may be. Or I post up a photo of what, what I've had for brekkie and um, they're like, wow, what's in that? What are you doing? And you know, what's in that? It's not complicated. It's, it's called salad and eggs. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, it's that sharing uh, that it's okay to be a man and to share information around what you're doing for your own health and well-being. Understandable. So obviously, it must be called the spark effect. Then that it's easy exercise, simple nutrition, and people are a team player, which is what um, a lot of people are disconnected in a very connected world, and that makes it very difficult for people to stay accountable, to stay on top of their health and fitness, and to actually be doing have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable now anthony somebody, or one of our viewers might be um you know sitting at the head of their chair right now because they're so interested in what you've got to offer and how they can also be involved with what you're doing how can people get a hold of you there um anthony a whole bunch of ways anthony spark s-p-a-r-k you can uh, google me i'll pop up on facebook i'm on youtube There'll be ways of, of contacting me. They'll, you can find my phone number. You can find anthony at anthonyspark.com.au is my email address. You can look up fitfellas.online or fitfellas on Facebook. Shoot me a message that way. There's uh, many, many ways to, uh, to hook up with me. One of the blessings of having a slightly unusual surname. Great stuff. Well, maybe some of these people are just sitting on their couch. How else can they get off the couch? Simple. Um, find, find something that you'd like to do. Whatever it is physically that you'd like to do, do that. And if you're not, if you, people tell me, but I don't know what I'd like to do. What might you like to do? The last time you're physically active that you actually enjoyed it, when was that? What were you doing? Well, that was back in high school and I was playing football. Grab a football, find an oval, walk around the oval with your football in hand. I, and when I say football, it could be a, an Australian rules, it could be a rugby ball, it could be a, a soccer ball. But what will happen is you'll start to kick, bounce, play with that ball whilst you're walking. You might jog a little bit. Uh, I, my background is, uh, you know, in high school was AFL. So uh, at the local oval, if I've got a football in hand, have no fear. When I get towards the goals, I'll be having a kick at the goals. I'll then jog after the ball. And before I know it, I'm actually moving, doing something I enjoy. So it's very much about what might you like to do and do that. And don't flog yourself. Don't think you've got to smash your body in order to get a result. All you need to do is get off the couch. And anything that you do off the couch is a thousand times better than staying on the couch. The couch will kill us. Sitting is the new smoking. Um, we all sit way too much, generally speaking. And, and this is you and I sitting down talking to each other. But, uh, you know, whatever we can do that gets us up and moving do that. And as I said, I don't care if you're a power lifter or a bodybuilder or a tap dancer. It's just about doing, finding something that you'd like to do. If you don't like doing it, you'll quit at the first possible chance. 
But if you actually enjoy it and you remind yourself how much you enjoy it, you're more likely to go back and do it on a more regular basis. Well, thank you so much for that insight because I was actually thinking to myself, wait a minute, I've got a football that, and naturally when you are holding the football or the basketball, you start bouncing it and yeah, you automatically yeah. get in motion. So definitely that's something that I would um, give it a try. Now you're probably watching this and, and you know that our mission is to actually help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And that's the reason why we bring in experts like Anthony so that they can just give us tips and tricks that we, they may sound very simple, but are actually very important in order for us to actually get and reach our goals. Um, as Anthony has been saying, this is not a beauty competition. It's not about being the biggest man uh, or the biggest chest at the beach or looking at your abs or anything like that. It's just mental willpower and that whole zeal and tenacity of actually being amongst people that are heading somewhere. So if you've got the guts to give it a go and you can commit to 30 minutes a week of exercise at least six days, um, 30 minutes a day, sorry, for six days, um, get a hold of Anthony and just see how you two can be amongst the fit fellas out there. Thank you so much, Anthony, for your time. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna look for the footy and actually start <laughs> kicking it around. <laughs> Excellent. Good chatting with you, my friend. Great stuff. Thank you so much. That was good. That was good. You've done this before, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. A couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> 